Alright guys, welcome to day three of boot camp. Uh, here is where I paint. Believe it or not, I paint right in front of my computer because I can stream Netflix. Uh, here's actually one of the projects I've been working on. Those of you who have seen my other videos have seen me working on it. Uh, it's an SBD-3 Dauntless Dive Bomber and I'm actually in the very end stages of finishing it. I'm putting on all the decals. Uh, trying to, I need to get the the carapace? Is that the right word? I need to get the the glass on it basically get it all finished up and you see all my paints in a wonderfully organized fashion my paint brushes all there my boxes of magnets tissues my never-ending Macedonian project but yeah uh, for my paint brushes these are actually let's see some of the ones that I'm using, I accidentally bought the long handled, but Princeton Arts paintbrushes. These are a little bigger in the bristles area, and so they, oh, actually, I'm sorry, these are the small bristled area ones. Whereas if I can find one before time runs out, there we go. You can see, nope, that's actually the exact same one where I trimmed it down. But, ah, here we go. You can see my mobile paint tray. Here we go. Long bristle brush for, e for ease of base coating and painting. But I buy those. They're about $4 a brush off of Amazon because nobody near where I live carries them. I mean, there's my painting station. I also have this secondary painting station where I keep my Badger airbrush and my paint and my tank for that. Which comes in really handy. I mean that's how I got the nice even coat on the Dauntless is using an airbrush. As you can see, again, this is just as neat and well organized as my other one. I can see some projects. There's the display plate for the Dauntless that'll go on there. There's the last 64 Macedonian phalangites that are going to get painted for my Paris of Epirus army. There's some War Machine, one of the very first models I built years ago, a Tiger One. Uh, which putting it together and painting it at that point was a big accomplishment for me so I'm not too worried that it's not very professionally done at the, comparatively. Uh, here is my model display shelf and actually looking at it this has mostly half completed models on it. This is one of the first models that I ever did. It's an Inquisitor model. Uh, the flesh is not done well but for someone who had been doing miniatures I think a grand total of two months not terrible bad. You can see a lot of Lord of the Rings models, an old fantasy giant, uh, incomplete models over here. This guy is mostly complete. This was a later thing I showed him in the July painting challenge. This one actually needs to get stripped. I dropped it and the wings popped off and it chipped all the paint and I just need to put it into green stuff, into simple green and pull all the paint off and start again. This guy, I'm not happy with the way I got his mold done. It was his big goiter. I think I'm just going to paint over it and then do all the rest of the trim and finish him up. He goes with all my goblins. There's Boromir, Eowyn, some Knights of Dol Amroth. There's even the Prince of Dol Amroth over here, along with an Emperor's Champion and some other uncompleted models. Again, <sighs> so many things to do. Here are some of the Macedonians. They actually look better than some of those earlier models. Ugh. Even more Macedonian pikemen with skirmishers. Some Eldar to go with my dark Eldar that are not quite done. Never any box of metal miniatures. Again, more and more stuff. You can see all the crap I have. Most of these drawers are full. There's lots of inquisitor models over there that need to be finished so yeah yeah and this is usually what I do whenever I start thinking about buying more miniatures as I go and I look at all the stuff that I still have that's not completed or that's half done and I say to myself get off your butt Daniel get to work and there's some great guns from the dwarf release from last year anyway I hope you guys are having fun, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a good one.